On one hand, we've got so-called fitness experts overcomplicating leg training and making it seem far more complex than it really is. On the other hand, however, more and more minimalist trainers have gone the other route, claiming that building bigger legs is as simple as squatting heavy. The truth, however, lies somewhere in the middle. You see, building an aesthetically pleasing lower body doesn't have to be this elaborate process where you hit the legs from all angles. Likewise, it's usually not as simple as squatting every day. If you want to build bigger legs, there are two things that have to happen. For starters, you've got to understand the anatomy and physiology of the lower body. Once you understand what muscles are involved and, more importantly, what function they're responsible for, choosing the right exercises and how to perform them more effectively becomes obvious. Second, once you've chosen your main exercises, focus on progression. If you're performing the right exercises using proper form and gradually increasing the load, your legs will grow. In this video, I want to briefly go over the basic anatomy of the legs and their functions, and then I want to share the perfect science-based lower body workout for mass. Lower Body Anatomy The lower body is made up of four main muscle groups. First, we have the quads, which are made up of four muscles, the vastus medialis, lateralis, intermedius, and the rectus femoris. All of these muscles act together to perform knee extension with the rectus femoris also being responsible for hip flexion or bringing your knees towards your chest. Second, we have the hamstrings which are the meaty muscle group on the back of the upper leg opposite the quads. The hamstrings are split into three muscles that act together to perform knee flexion or bringing your heel towards your glutes and hip extension or bringing your leg behind your body. The hamstrings are also really important when it comes to injury prevention as they are fundamental to stability at the knee joint. Next up are the glutes, which are comprised of three heads, the gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, and gluteus minimus. The main functions of the glutes are hip extension, hip abduction, external rotation, and posterior pelvic tilt. And lastly, the most stubborn of all muscle groups, the calves are split into two, the soleus and the gastrocnemius. Both muscles are responsible for flexion of the ankle joint, think of standing up on your tippy toes, while the gastrocnemius acts with the hamstrings to flex the knee. Now that we know what muscles we're hitting and what exactly they do, let's go over the most effective way to train your legs for mass. When it comes to training your legs, we want to perform exercises that give us the best ROI on our time in the gym. In other words, multi-joint exercises that target more than one muscle at a time should be the focal point when training the quads, hamstrings, and glutes. As for the calves, they're similar to the abs in that they're getting a good deal of isometric tension due to the exercises you'll be performing. That'll be more than enough to maintain or even build them for those lucky guys who were blessed with good calf genetics. For the rest of us, however, we'll have to add a bit of direct work. That said, training the calves is pretty straightforward. Add a few sets of standing calf raises at the end of your workout as you see fit. If your gym is like mine and doesn't have a standing calf raise machine, use the leg press instead. So now that we understand the theory behind my approach to leg training, let's go over the best way to structure your workouts to maximize both size and strength. Day 1. Legs. Strength. Back squat. 5 sets of 5 reps. When it comes to building a huge set of legs, there's no exercise more effective than the squat. Squats elicit extremely high muscle activity in all of the main lower body muscles, from the glutes and quads to the hamstrings and even calves. This is not to say that you can't build big legs without squatting, you most certainly can, but we're looking for the big bang for your buck exercises, the exercises that are going to pack the most meat onto your frame in the shortest amount of time. It's no surprise that carrying a heavy load on your back, squatting down with it, and then standing back up again is going to put some serious mass on every muscle in your legs. But the benefits of squatting don't end there. 
Squats, when done correctly, will strengthen the connective tissue around the knees, increase flexibility and mobility, they'll help you run faster and jump higher, and if that wasn't enough of a reason to squat, it's an incredibly effective core workout as well. Romanian deadlift, four sets of eight reps. Up next, we have arguably the best overall posterior chain builder, the Romanian deadlift. Unlike the squat, the RDL focuses on the hamstrings as it's purely a hip extension movement. This is why this exercise is so effective at targeting both the glutes and hamstrings as they are both responsible for hip extension. Research has also confirmed that when it comes to building big hamstrings, RDLs elicit near maximal hamstring activation. A few common mistakes to avoid when performing this exercise are keeping the knees locked, not keeping the bar close to the body, bending forward instead of pushing the hips back, not keeping the chest up, and going way too far down. To perform this exercise correctly, walk up to the bar and stand with your midfoot underneath it, feet shoulder width apart, and feet pointed forward. If your shins are touching the bar, you're too close. Grab the bar at shoulder width with a double overhand grip and deadlift the bar into a standing position. Once you're standing upright, soften your knees to begin your descent. Instead of bending forward, push your hips back until the barbell is 6 to 8 inches above the ground. From there, push your hips forward and squeeze your glutes to return to an upright position. Make sure your back remains flat or in a neutral position throughout the entirety of the lift. Walking lunges, 3 sets of 8 reps. Not only does this exercise effectively target the glutes and hamstrings, research has shown that it may lead to higher quad activation than the barbell back squats themselves. To perform lunges, brace your core before each rep as this ensures you remain stable throughout the rep. Take a large forward stride and angle it out to the side slightly. Slowly drop your back knee down under control until it's about an inch or so above the ground. From there, drive both your front heel and back foot into the ground simultaneously to bring you up. With this exercise, it's important that you remain tight, otherwise you may end up emphasizing your core over your legs. Day 2. Legs Hypertrophy Back Squat 3 sets of 10 reps Squatting is a skill, and as always, if we want to get better at the skill, we need to practice. A few things you want to avoid when squatting are stopping before you reach proper depth, too wide of a grip on the bar, rounding your lower back, leaning way too far forward, pushing through your toes or the balls of your feet instead of the heels, letting your knees collapse inward. The list of blunders is long, but avoiding them is easy. To perform this exercise effectively, set the bar in between your traps and rear delts. Keep your chest up and upper back tight. Heels shoulder width apart and feet pointed outward slightly. Fix your eyes on a spot on the floor to keep your neck and spine safe. Squat down by pushing your knees out and hips back and down. Once you've reached parallel or slightly below, squat up by pushing your heels into the ground and driving your hips straight up. Barbell Hip Thrust 3 sets of 10 reps The hip thrust effectively hits both the glutes and upper hamstrings which will not only give you a bigger and stronger set of legs but also lead to a stronger squat, something which will ultimately lead to bigger quads. Seems like a pretty gratuitous cycle if you ask me. To perform this exercise, place your shoulder blades on the bench and have the bar placed across your pelvis. Use an overhand grip, arms shoulder width apart to stabilize the bar. Brace your core, drive through your heels, and squeeze your glutes to lift your hips. At this point, your shins should be perpendicular to the floor and your shoulders and knees should be in line. Bring the bar back down under control and repeat. Bulgarian Split Squats 3 sets of 12 reps 
One study, published in the International Journal of Sports Medicine, found that the hamstrings and glutes were more active during Bulgarian split squats than the back squat. Not only that, but one other study, published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, suggested that Bulgarian split squats may be a great way to improve squat strength while reducing lower back strain. And if that wasn't enough of a reason to include split squats in your training, consider this. Unilateral exercises have been shown to prevent or even correct muscle imbalances while training with bilateral exercises exclusively may increase chances of developing muscular disparities. Seated Leg Curl 3 sets of 15 reps Because the main function of the hamstrings is knee flexion, the seated leg curl is a great way to top off our leg workout. A couple of mistakes you want to avoid with this exercise are excessive momentum, where you're essentially rocking your body in order to lift more weight, and partial reps, where you're simply staying within the mid-range of the exercise in order to crank out more reps and feel the burn. Instead, grab the side handles on the machine and make sure your butt is planted firmly on the seat so there is no movement other than the knee joint. Start with your legs fully extended and then curl the weight as far as possible toward the back of your thighs. Hold that contraction for a second and then control the weight back up to the starting position. So there you have it, a science-based leg workout routine that provides enough total volume for the entire lower body while also focusing on strength. Remember, the key to muscle growth with any program is progression. As long as you're gradually getting stronger or doing more work, you'll continue to grow. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Is there a muscle group you want a science-based workout routine for? Let me know in the comments section below and I'll make a video like this one. Also, if your training and nutrition are in order and you're looking for an extra edge, be sure to check out my science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. If you want to check those out, head over to musclemonsters.com forward slash supplements or click the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.